Hey guys, it's Brie. I felt like doing a tag video today, so I'm going to do the 25 question tag. The first question, oddly enough, do you have any pets? Nope, not me. No pets. <laughs> yes, I do. This is my puppy Brinkley. He's been in, oh, you're so big. He's been in several of my videos. He's a purebred poodle. Oh, I love you too. I think he likes to taste of lip gloss. Number two, name three things that are physically close to you. One, <laughs> my dog. Um, number two, of course, in this room, I still have not taken down my Christmas tree, so my Christmas tree is my number two. I'm gonna face it so you get to see. There's my tree still up, and uh, it's definitely like the end of March. And three, I have big old last sweet tea. Like any southern girl, this is from the Argus Parade. It's my absolute favorite parade ever. And I'm always sipping on some sweet tea, so. Sweet tea, so there you go. There's three. What's the weather like right now? It's actually kind of storming. Yeah, my yard flooded so bad the other day. It was really scary. Do you drive? Question number four. And if so, have you ever crashed? Yeah, actually, I was in a really, really bad car accident when I was 18. I was going to do cheerleading in college, and I was in this horrid, horrid car accident, and my kneecap was basically, like, ripped off, so when it rains, my knee swells. I'm sort of psychic now, and I can tell you when it's going to rain, hours before it rains, and it's still really painful. There are some days where I just don't get out of bed. It's so painful. Question number four, what time did you wake up this morning? I woke up at six o'clock this morning for work. When was the last time you showered? Four hours ago after work. I have such an exciting life. What was the last movie you saw? Last night, my grandmother, Brinkley, and I watched Burlesque. He liked it. He liked it. Didn't you? Didn't you, Brinkley? <laughs> um, question number eight, what does your last text message say? My text, let's see, let's check the phone, the handy daddy iPhone. It is from Mary Cross, and it says, shoot me in the face of the whale harpoon now. Okay, Mary Cross. What's your ringtone? If you don't live in New Orleans, you're gonna have no idea what this is, but it's uh, called the All Axed For You, and it's A-S-K-D. I'll play it for you. <laughs> it's just a typical New Orleans ringtone. You guys know how much I love New Orleans, so I have a New Orleans ringtone. Have you ever been to a different country? Yes, my favorite other country is Canada. Oddly enough, I love Canada. Do you like sushi? Ugh. No, I hate sushi. Ugh. I'm not even going to tell you what I think it tastes like. I think it's disgusting. Where do you buy your groceries? Walmart? Isn't that the basic answer? Have you ever taken medication to help you fall asleep faster? Actually, yes, I have. For a long time there, I had a real problem with insomnia. But I figured out a solution. Crazy, crazy, crazy as it sounds. I started watching Mad Men, and the... Writer of Mad Men is Matthew Weiner, and Matthew Weiner does the commentaries after every episode. And for some reason, I found his voice very therapeutic and soothing. So I would put on like Mad Men and the commentary, and I would just listen to his voice, and I'd fall asleep, and it cured my insomnia. So thank you, Mad Men and Matthew Weiner. How many siblings do you have? I have one brother, but we weren't raised together. So, I have sort of been raised as an only child, and he does videos too, coincidentally, but he does videos about anime and, like, Japanese stuff, which I know nothing about. So, if you want to check him out, his name is Prince Darian 7 I'll, like, link his information in the bottom bar. I don't watch his videos, and I don't think he watches mine, so, whatever. But I really enjoy, like, I have a brother, but I've never lived with him. And my family all came in town last week, and they're a huge family, brothers and sisters. And it really, really made me appreciate the fact that I've grown up as an only child. 
I am such a person of solitude. I like being alone. I like, I can entertain myself. I can do things by myself and I have absolutely no problem with it. And I found that all of those children needed another person around them and they were very dependent on other people for their entertainment and for everything they wanted to do. Like none of them could just like go in a room and read a book or go do anything by themselves. And I like to be alone. I like to close my door and I like to have peace and quiet. Like right now, I'm alone doing YouTube videos. So I totally appreciate not having other people to depend on or rely on or bug me because I appreciate the solitude. Do you have a desktop computer or a laptop? I have a laptop. It's a MacBook Pro. It's amazing. How old will you be turning on your next birthday? 26. Do you wear contacts or glasses? I wear contacts during the day and glasses at night, but there are some times when I'm lazy and I just wear my glasses all day. Do you color your hair? Yes, I do. Tell me something that you're planning to do today. My day is pretty much over. I'm going to be going to sleep within an hour or so. So uh, take off my makeup and crawl in bed and snuggle my dog. That's what I'm planning to do the rest of the day. And what am I planning to do tomorrow? Make that cheddar, baby. That's what I'm planning on doing. So I get my lots of makeup and do more reviews and hauls. Uh... When was the last time you cried? Question number 20. I don't know. I'm a pretty tough girl. I don't really cry. Valentine's Day. I cried on Valentine's Day when uh, Nick got me the Magic Attic Club doll. And I also filmed a video about that. Question number 21. What is your perfect pizza topping? I don't eat pizza. I'm allergic to cheese. These questions are weird. Who thought these questions up? Do you prefer hamburgers or cheeseburgers? Defer to the question above. I'm allergic to cheese. Have you ever had an all-nighter? Well, I graduated from Tulane. Ta-da! Tulane versus LSU. P.S. I love this shirt. I'm going to show you the back of it, if you can see it. It says, the difference between the best state school and the best school in the state is that our players graduate. So, uh, the shirt's a big booyah to LSU, dudes. But my biggest fondest memory of an all-nighter was in college I was taking a history of theater three maybe I don't remember and for some reason I guess the teacher whose name is Buzz I guess Buzz forgot that it was Halloween night and that of course we're college kids we want to go out and do things and we had this huge exam the next morning and so I remember all of us getting together, and my friend Lauren Elkin and I were quizzing each other in the green room. And there was some point where I was just like, forget this. I want to go to a haunted house. I love Halloween. I want to actually do something for Halloween. So I sort of blew off the exam, and I went out for a little bit. And then I went back to the green room, and I studied all night with everyone in the class. And everyone was so upset because the teacher was so inconsiderate to have an exam on Halloween. And I guess he was doing the same thing that other people were doing, and he went out for Halloween because the professor didn't even bother showing up for the exam the next day. Didn't even show up. So the exam was a week later or something crazy, and we were all stressed and completely bugging about it. And yeah, he was like probably out like doing his party Halloween thing. He'd be like, ha, ah, those kids don't get to go out. Ha, ah. ha, Stupid. What is your eye color? My eyes are purple today. They're very Liz Taylor. They're purple today, but my eyes are actually green. Can you taste the difference between Pepsi and Coke? Who thought of these questions? These questions hate me. They really do. Actually, I am allergic to carbonation. So, no. I cannot taste the difference because I can't taste it at all. Ah! Whoever, all these questions are about cheese and Coke and crazy stuff. Ah! These questions suck.